Oh, good day. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Pugwall. And Pugwall stands for Peter Unwin George Wall. Pugwall. We mates. But not this lot. I'll get you back, Pugwall. Me too, Pugwall. Suffer. Forgotten what I was going to say now. The trip to Japan! Oh yeah, that's right. We won a trip to Japan and a chance to record our song. And thanks to Aunt Annabelle, the family came too, but they agreed to stay out of our way. I wonder if Peter remembered to pack his toothbrush. Margaret. Well, I'm sorry, Frank. As far as I'm concerned, he's still my baby. going to the toilet. The toilet's that way. A plane has more than one toilet and that one's run out of hand cream. Marion! Uh-oh, he's trouble. This is not going to work. Aunt Annabelle doesn't know what it's like with Marmalade around. Up this end is much nicer. Why don't you try some? Just get lost. You're supposed to keep out of our way. Ah, let go of me. Is something wrong here? Yes, this young man's molesting me. It's all right. She's my sister. Oh, really? Um, and where are you sitting, dear? Right up the back. Let me see if I can move you up a bit closer. Oh, no. Welcome to Tokyo. Uh, we are very pleased to meet you. It's okay, I speak English. <laughs> this is Miko. She will look after you. Good luck, kids. Break a leg, mean? Soups meant good luck. Marmalade meant exactly what she said. You try this one, delicacy. What is it? Baby octopus brain. Thanks. What are you eating? Pickled seaweed. Oh, brownie. <laughs> uh oh, here's trouble. Frank. We'd better pretend we haven't seen them, otherwise they'll, they'll think we've been following them around. Right. Pretend we haven't seen them, right? Right. Right. It's Peter. Hello, Pumpkin. One thing. If we have to suffer eating this stuff, so does my armaloy. Can I start? Of course, Matt.
sorry. I'll get it. I'm so sorry. Would you like to listen to the tape again? Sorry. Take 22. I want you to stop there. Let's face it, we didn't know much about this recording business, but we knew enough to know something wasn't going right. Ah, oh, so are you Betty tired? Exhausted. Oh, I'm wrecked. 52 takes and we still didn't get it right. We have no more time. We are the busiest recording studio in Japan. Tomorrow, Sakari Samurai takes over for a week. Then Elton John comes in for two weeks, and then Sting, and then the Sushi Sisters. You can tell us we were bad, weren't we? Recording is very funny business. You never know till you try. Look, Mako, if you'd rather we didn't sing tomorrow night, we understand. Oh, no, you must sing at the winner's concert with the others. You are representing your country. the answer to the puzzle. To see you sing is wonderful, but to hear you without seeing you is not so wonderful. So we made mistake. A good performer on stage is not necessarily a good performer in the recording studio. But we'll make it one day. Uh, when you do, let us know. We'll still be here. At least you didn't turn on an earthquake. I'll leave you on your own now. I'll see you at the airport. Thank you. Thank you. Top of the morning to you. How come you are our Shaughnessy? I mean, Dad got around a little bit, you know. So he got the best of both worlds. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
Well, now that we've got the introductions out of the way, me little lads and lassie, I got a little bit of a proposition to put to you. It just so happens that your uncle is a friend of mine. Oh, yes. You mean uncle? Uh, what's the name of my uncle? Why, my darling boy, it's Harry. Harry oh. Hall. So you do know him? I'm told that your commitment with the record company is finished. In more ways than one. Good, because I'd like to sign you on for a tour of the Philippines and Southeast Asia with a little bit of Burma and Tibet thrown in there. Travelling first class all the way there. Fully chaperoned and fully paid for. That's, that sounds good. That sounds great. Well, sigh in here. Uh, I think we'd better talk it over first. Yeah. 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 Well, don't you want three months off at a school? Oh, yeah. Three years would be even better. Do they have video games in Tibet? In Tibet? They play video games with real people. Real. Okay, we'll talk it out with mum and dad. What, do you mean like sort of ring them there? No, like they're here. In Tokyo. Sightseeing. Doing what we'd be doing if we weren't here talking to you. I see. I didn't realise that your parents were here. Right. Well, I better let you get on with it then. With what? With what, yes. The sightseeing. Japan. While it's still here, it could be an earthquake any day. Yo. Oh, Dad. Oh, yeah, radio, hang on. Uh, string me an awful bazaar, Jenny, come over here. Yeah, Dad's just, Dad's ringing from the Australian Embassy. He's done some checking up on Mr. Okumaro O'Shaughnessy. Yeah, Dad, I'll just tell them while you're telling me. Okay? Yeah, Mr. Okumaro O'Shaughnessy has sent three dancers, a juggler, and two pop groups over to Southeast Asia, and none of them have ever been paid. Oh, one group's never even come back. Oh, gosh, in fact, Interpol and the FBI are looking for him right now. Yeah, okay, Dad. No worries. Bye. Imagine what could have happened to us in the Gobi Desert. <laughs> Susie, she's so funny I know she's sweet on Phil Billy's dancing with the cutie Come on now, let's all join in Aren't you gonna drag this party Singing, dancing, having fun Weekends 
So we were glad to be back home. Well, sort of. Dreaming about what might have been, you guys. I used to think, what an easy life being a rock star. Raging all night, making a record, picking up chicks. Hey. Sorry. Making a million before breakfast. I still reckon we can do it. I know we can do it. Konnichiwa. I can't walk very fast in these sandals. But everything's ready for dinner. We'll start as soon as Harry gets here. And where's dear little Marion? Did they detain her in customs? I'm here. But I wish I wasn't. You look wonderful, Muffins. Margaret really loved it in Japan. I could happily have stayed there. Well, I am pleased it all had such an impact on you. At least somebody got something out of it. I got a bellyache. How surprising. I nearly died. Marion, you did not. I did. She didn't. She just got a bit airsick. Well, I don't know what's happened to Harry. So why don't we eat? God, I'm starving. Marion, mm. will you help me serve? If I have to. Oh, such a little darling. I'm not this again. Marion. But we've had it three nights running. Marion, go to your room. Don't bother getting up. Just tell me where the presents are. <laughs> Stab the flame and crows, mad and butterfly. We thought you'd never get here, Harry. Maybe I should have stayed away. Annabelle, how lovely to see oh, you. Stop lying through your teeth, Harry, and sit down. We started without you, Harry. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that doesn't matter. It'll only take you three minutes to cook my steak. Oh, it's not steak, Harry. It's sooky yucky and it's horrible. Don't worry, Harry, you're not having any of that. I've run out. <laughs> That's yours. What is it? It's raw fish. Sushi. It's delicious. And you have to eat every bit of it. It's very good for you, Harry. I've been feeding the family Japanese and look at them. Actually, mine is delicious. Eat up, Harold. Look, I've just got to get something out of the car. You're not leaving, Uncle Harry. Don't you want to hear about our trip? Oh, the trip, yes. Uh, actually, that's what I come round for, the trip. Not for the food? <laughs> no, uh, definitely not for the food. Guess he has a... Enjoying your sushi, Harry? Uh, well, it's a... Uh, it's a new taste sensation. It's, uh... It's what's my... What? Actually, it's, uh... D delicious. Oh, did you bring that back from Japan? Bring what back? That, uh, that lamp over there. We've had that for ages. And you gave it to us for Christmas once. That's right, so I did. Good taste, haven't I? Oh, Harry, you're finished. Let me give you some more. No, 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 no. Oh. After Mr Okumara O'Shaughnessy, we ate him one. <laughs> Uncle Harry, do you know someone called Okumara O'Shaughnessy? Oh, yes, the, uh, the Japanese leprechaun. Uh, could I have some more soda water, please? What's the matter, Harry? Feeling uncomfortable? No, it's just that that fish is still swimming around down here. Where'd you meet him? Uh, in a bar at a hotel. You met a perfect stranger in, in the bar of a hotel. And on the strength of that, you gave him the organics to handle in Japan? Well, I didn't actually give them to him. I, I was on 10%. Uh, which I was going to share with you jokers. Well, Uncle Harry, just listen to what almost happened to my son and his friends as a result of your casual meeting with a, a Japanese leprechaun. Uncle Harry's one of those people you just love to hate. It was great to watch him squirm and try and think up excuses to get him out of the pickle he was in. We weren't really mad with him, but we weren't going to let him know that. Margaret. Yes, Harry? Could I have some more fish, please? You want more fish? 
Well, after the grilling I just got, I might as well die and get it over with. I now know what you mean about needing help with Harry. Well, it's not just Uncle Harry, Aunt Annabelle. It's, um, it's Margaret. Apart from the kimono, she's gone totally over the top. She wants to tear down the walls and put up paper petitions. She wants wooden pillows, sleeping on the floor. Well, I can talk her out of that, but the food. We can't go on like this. Leave it to me, Frank. Leave it to me. It's been a wonderful evening. One thing about Harry, the worse he behaves, the more fun we get out of him. Good old Aunt Annabelle. Saves the day again. You know, the only way to cure soups of a new obsession is to give her an overdose. <laughs> Who cooked that? We, we did. did. Can I have some? No. no. Make your own. Where's Mum? <laughs> Good old Aunt Annabelle. <laughs> I'll have a hamburger with the lot. Now, everything was back to normal. G'day, Pugwall. Good to have you back. <laughs> Who are they, kiddies? Wait till the record's finished. <laughs>